When you're working in Excel, you might need to investigate or troubleshoot some of your formulas. So here we've got cells where some numbers are just typed, but most of the others are formulas. So you can click on a cell and see its formula in the formula bar. And if you need to, you can even increase the size of that formula bar in newer versions of Excel. To see all the formulas on the sheet, you can use a keyboard shortcut. And I'm going to type the accent key, which is just at the top left of my keyboard, just above the tab key. It's the backward leaning accent key. So I'm going to hold the control key and then type that accent key. And it opens up all the columns and shows the formulas that I've got in there. So the dates have changed from their regular format to serial numbers and any cell with a formula has expanded to show a, a good chunk of the formula. To go back to regular view, I'll press Control and tap that accent key again. If I'd like to see the worksheet in its regular view, plus see the formulas, I could open another window in this same workbook. And to do that, I'll go to the View tab and click New Window. Now you can see at the top, I've still got the file name, but it's got colon 2 after it. And there's another window that shows the same thing right now, and it's showing colon 1. To see those together, I can click Arrange All, and I'll do a horizontal arrangement. So now I'm looking at the same sheet twice. Now I could choose to look at two different sheets, but in this case I want to see the same sheet and compare it in regular view to formula view. So I've selected a cell in this lower window. I'll press my control and accent key and now I can compare the sheet in regular view to the sheet in formula view and do some troubleshooting this way. When you're finished troubleshooting you can close this second window and to do that, I'll just bring in this edge a little bit. And you can see that this window has an X at the top right. So I can click that to close it and then just double click on the title bar of the first window to expand it to fill the whole Excel window.